You're watching an AI generated video I made, no filming, no editing, no 3D skills, all made with no code AI automation. And here's an Instagram account and this guy posting similar videos. Just look at these views, 197 million, 125 million, 95 million. I mean, this is crazy. And here's what's wild. I built a full automation that lets you create videos just like this by filling out a simple form. You choose the car, you choose the scene, what's being dropped, and the AI does everything else. No editing skills, no video background, just your ideas and this system. And in this tutorial, I'll show you exactly how to build it using NADN, which is a beginner friendly, no code AI automation platform and Google's new amazing VO3 video model. But more importantly, this is a massive opportunity. We're entering a new era where anyone could create content like this without touching a single editing tool or code at all. If you've got ideas, now you have the power to bring them to life at scale on on autopilot. So stick around till the end of this video because this is an opportunity that you do not want to miss because with a few videos like this you could be gaining massive amount of followings and ways to monetize it. All right, let's get started. If you're new to the channel, my name is Zubair. I have an AI automation school where I teach you the basics, absolute basics of NADN, which is the best AI automation tool, which is a no code platform. And also more importantly, I show you ways to earn money and make a living with AI automation. We're entering this new era of AI automation consultants and people who are taking advantage of this now are going to be ahead of everybody else in the future market. I have a day to day accountability guide where I'll teach you from the absolute basics of how to choose your niche how to start your, how to create your domain, your email account, how to create a simple website, how to set up your content, how to run discovery calls with your clients, how to reach out to clients, uh, Upwork, everything you need in order for you to be a successful AI automation consultant. So make sure you check out the link in the description. Hopefully I'll see you inside the community. All right, let's get back to the video. So what we need to do is we need to, I'm gonna start completely fresh. Um, but before that, let me go ahead and actually show you a demo. And while this is be being loaded, I'm gonna go ahead and build this thing up with you. So what we need to do is literally just click on execute workflow. And this is going to pull up a form where we can select the car model. So you can do Rolls Royce and Lamborghini or whatever it may be, right? Like I'm just uh, put, uh, I've just put a, a few sample cars here and I'll show you exactly how you can add more here. But let's go ahead and take a look at, let's say maybe Tesla Model S and you can do a, the crash, you know, the crash object. So you can do massive boulder, steel container, pile of bricks or whatever. Let's do falling tree this time. Test location uh, this time. Let's go ahead and do maybe mountain cliff. And then the crash style, I'm just going to do drone shot, right? So, and again, I'm going to show you exactly how to add more different, more choices as well, if you want, or if you, if you want to completely change this form, you can certainly do that. So I'm going to click on submit. And what this is going to do, this is going to reach out to open AI note. This is going to run and create a prompt. And then we're going to reach out to VO3 and generate this video. So right now, uh, we have a wait note here because obviously it takes a couple of minutes for this video to be generated. But while this is being processed, let's go ahead and build this out from scratch. So I'm, I'm going going to do is I'm going to create a new workflow. If you have never uh, experienced with or if you're not experienced with NADN, please uh, click on the link in the description where you can go ahead and create a 14 day free account. And then you can come in here and basically follow me along. So this is your blank workflow. Every NADN workflow starts with a trigger. So in our case, our trigger is going to be a form. So we're just going to click on the plus button and search for form. And you're going to click on this form and on new form event. Okay, so here's what we need to do now. We can add multiple different form elements, just like we built our form earlier. So we can, uh, you know, choose the form title. We can add a description and we can add different elements here. So let's go ahead and choose a form title. So I'm going to do car test content, right? Something like that. You can do a description here, create viral car test videos. Okay. And then the field name, this is where we now just like we saw on our form earlier, we can now create different fields here. So for example, we can do car type, right? And here's where we can make the element type as a drop down list, you know, you can do multiple choice if you want, or you can do a text field where it will give you you can enter anything there. So for, for me, I'm just gonna do drop down list, for example, we can do Lamborghini. Uh, and you know what, I'm just gonna do Lambo. And then you can add additional fields, right? You can do Ferrari, right? And then you can keep adding more stuff in there, right? So, and then afterwards, the next one, you wanna do a crash site. Oh, uh, 
no, sorry, you got to do, you got to make this a required field. So that way people have to enter that. And then you're going to do add form element. So another one, this time we're going to do crash site or crash object. Okay. And the same thing, we're going to do a drop down list here. And then we're going to do a boulder. Uh, let's say a tree. Oops. Container, steel container. All right, so you can keep adding more stuff. Same thing, we're going to make this a required. And now you can add like more stuff in here as well. So if you want to do crash site or if you want to do add something else, you can, you're more than uh, uh, welcome to do that. So once you do that, now what we need to, uh, let me actually delete that. Otherwise, it's going to ask me to, hey, let me get rid of this so I can show you what happens. So if you click on execute step now, this will pull up that form. There you go. Now you have those options available there. I'm just going to copy um, the one that I created earlier. So that way I don't have to, um, create this again. So I'm just going to copy this and bring this over here and get rid of this paste. All right. So now if you go inside, there you go. Now it has uh, all of that. So let me stop this by the way. There you go. All right. So there you go. Now it's all of that. So if I click on execute step, now it's going to pull up the same exact form where I, I can choose whatever I want from here. Right. And like I said, you can add whatever uh, additional fields if you choose to in here. Okay, so now let's go ahead and add our OpenAI node because we need to, after this submission, it needs to generate a prompt. So I'm going to click on the plus button. We're going to go and look for OpenAI. I'm going to click on OpenAI here and we're going to select uh, message a model. So here, if you don't have an OpenAI account, you're going to click on create new credential. What this is going to do is this is going to uh, direct you to the API where you can set up an API key and then you can add it's very very simple like I said once you click on it you'll, you'll be able to figure that out once you load your account then from here you can just uh, choose the different models that are available I'm just going to choose GPT 4.1 mini but you can choose whatever you want so the prompt this is where we now need to add the prompt so that way it generates that but before that let me go ahead and actually fill this out so that way we can submit some data so let's say I'm going to do uh ford f-150 this time you can do uh pile of bricks uh let's do urban demolition site crash test we can do it in drone shot i'm going to click on submit and this is going to go ahead and submit this data i'm going to pin this now so that way we have this data all right so now as you can see we have all this data that's coming in from this left hand side so let me go ahead and click on expression here and i'm going to expand this now we need to fill a prompt so you can use ChatGPT here or claude to generate your prompt but i'm going to actually go ahead to my community and literally just grab this from the youtube resources here and um yep i'm going to come right here copy this and paste it all right. So now this is going to automatically grab all of the dynamic values from this left hand side here. So all I'm doing is literally just gr grabbing this and dropping it right here on the right hand side. You can see this is the selection that we did earlier, which is the, the form, right? So then what this is going to do is this is essentially saying based on the inputs below, generate a cinematic video prompt suitable for Google's VO3 model right? Uh, text to video model, focus on dramatic crash test scenario, blah, blah, blah. So even if you're not part of the community, you can just pause this video and copy this. But essentially, we're giving this prompt to generate uh, based on the dynamic value from the user selection, a prompt that's going to be suitable for VO3 model. Make sure you toggle these two because this will output everything in one JSON. So all you have to do is now click on execute step. And now this will generate the prompt that's going to be suitable for VO3. And as you can see right here, it says, uh, a dramatic crash test test unfolds at a urban demolition site under natural grading lighting blah 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 a sturdy ford f-150 so you can see that now everything is good to go now okay so now the next step is we need to be able to reach out now to vo3 google's vo3 model and we're going to do that using the http request node so I'm going to click on the HTTP request node. So this is where we can reach out to uh, Google's API. Now you can use Google's own API that they recently released all, or you can come in here and click on this FAL API, which is basically a third party platform. Whoops. Uh, oh, it's this one. 
which is basically a third party platform where you can have access to VO3. Now a word of advice here, this is pretty expensive because the VO3 model is very expensive. And it's the same price I think on, on Google's own native API as well, which is around like $6 per eight second video. But again, like I said, they're so eye catching that honestly, that's worth the investment, right? In my opinion. And plus you can just take this and post it in TikTok as well. And on YouTube shorts. I mean, you can see even the guys posting the same exact videos, both on YouTube shorts and on Instagram and getting the same ridiculous views. So, uh, you know, honestly, it's, it's definitely worth the investment. All right. So, uh, make you can reach out or you can check out the documentation that file.ai uh, so what we need to do is reach out to a particular endpoint so we're going to do method is going to be post and the url we're going to reach out to this particular url right here which is called create video so i'm just going to copy this and go back here and paste it right authentication you're going to do generic credential types you're going to select header art from here and here you need to create new credentials. So you're going to click on new credential and here's where you would put your authorization and your API key from file, uh, file.ai. Very, very simple, very easy to make. Uh, so make sure you select that. And then afterwards, we're also going to send a body. So for body now, all we need to do is do select raw. And then from here, you can do application.json and you will literally just grab this prompt and send it there. Okay. So not like that. So let me go ahead and switch back to this other one that this finished. Oh, there you go. This already finished. So let's go ahead and take a look at uh, the video that this guy generated. So let me go ahead and because this was the one that we just created. So now I'm going to take this URL, paste it here and let's see what video it generated. All right, there you go. <laughs> Pretty cool, right? Like, let's see. I mean, it's a drone shot. It's coming in at it from a different and the tree gets dropped on top of it. And it looks like it survives everything, right? Very cool. And look how clean and crisp the video is. I mean, this is incredible how this got generated. But anyway, so the way to do uh, on the body itself, what you need to do is, whoops, let me go back here. Uh, you would do body content raw uh, content type. You're going to do application.json and you're just going to do prompt and you're just going to drag this and bring it over there. That's it. Very simple. And also you will have items per batch. You will do one and then the batch intervals will be 2000 milliseconds. Just keep it that, that is, as that is. And once you execute step, this will say in queue, meaning that the video is in requested and this will also give you a request ID. Afterwards, you would add an uh, wait wait note because this is going to take a couple of minutes. So same thing is very simple. All you have to do is just click on add. You're going to search for wait and you'll add five minutes and that's all you need to do, right? Because now if you just click on this, this will essentially just uh, run it and it's going to wait for five minutes after it completes. So that way you're not running into some kind of errors. Very, very simple, very easy to make, not not too complicated at all. So the next step, we need to add another HTTP request node so that way we can reach out and now grab the URL or grab that video that got generated. And the way to do that, we only need to reach out to the following one. This is the URL. You're going to copy this and you're going to go back to this right here. You're going to leave it and then paste it right here. Okay. And once you run that application or run this workflow, it's going to get completed. So if you go back right here, you will see the wait note is five minutes. And this is the get we just did. We reached out to this following URL with the get request and you'll do your authentication similar to before and everything else you leave the same. And then this will generate that URL. And then now you can take this and you can play it and you can also download it as well, where you can now post it on social media or TikTok or YouTube or whatever it may be. Very, very simple. Very, very easy. Now, if you want to generate additional ideas, even make this even a bigger shortcut, I have a GPT, a custom GPT in the start right here. So if you go to and attend workflow architect GPT, you can actually just copy and paste this JSON workflow. Tell, tell, tell it that, Hey, I want this to generate me a new JSON workflow for this particular field and it will generate everything for you. All you have to do is just uh, copy or click on these three dots and you can import from file and bring all of that over. Very, very simple, very, very easy. Again, this is a massive opportunity. I know it's a bit expensive, but I would suggest taking advantage of this amazing tool that's available for us at our disposal. And with this automation, it just makes it very, very easy and very simple for you to uh, generate any kind of video 
like high quality cinematic just like it's professionally made in any field and it's extremely eye-catching so therefore it works really well on youtube instagram and other social media platforms so go ahead take advantage of it and let me know in the comments below if you want to see anything else being made and again like i said if you want to learn how to monetize these make sure you join the community i'm gonna put the link in the description hopefully i'll see you inside thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one